Hello and welcome to Lot 49. Today I will go through four takeaways from President Xi Jinping's visit to the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Conference in San Francisco and his meeting with President Biden. On the 15th, the Chinese President gave a speech as part of a conference in which he emphasized the role of people in developing US-China relations and that the US should see China as a partner rather than as a competitor. The two leaders finally met on the 17th and were able to successfully develop guiding principles on the most prominent issues regarding their relationship. This included a proper understanding of each other, managing their differences, and strengthening cooperation and dialogue between them. Biden claimed substantial progress was made during the meeting, as the Chinese agreed to resume military-to-military contact between the two countries. However, no progress was made on the issue of Taiwan. Agreements were also made on starting discussions on the risks caused by artificial intelligence and in tackling narcotics trafficking. A working group on counter-narcotics cooperation was formed and China agreed to tackle the trafficking of the precursors and production equipment used in the making of the drug fentanyl, which is currently the biggest killer of Americans between the ages of 18 and 49. Unfortunately, in true Biden style, he managed to undermine any softening of tensions between the two powers during a press conference afterwards. When a reporter asked the American president if he still thought that Xi was a dictator, he doubled down on his prior comments, but offered more nuance in his logic this time. He's a dictator in the sense that he's a guy who runs a country that is a communist country that's based on a form of government totally different than ours. Anyway, thank you for watching. This video was drawn from articles by Xinhua and The Guardian. If you would like to read the pieces for yourself, check them out using the links in the description. All content used is the property of its owners and is used for the purposes of education, review and reporting, as allowed by fair use laws. As with all video channels, please feel free to like, comment, share and subscribe. And until next time, have a good day.